Hello friends. So far we have finished two type, two data types. One is text data type. Uh, in order to process a text a textual data, we are using string kind of a data type. And then for processing the numerical uh, data type. So under that we have studied uh, how to use in float and complex data types. Right. We will proceed with the next kind of a data type, which is a sequence kind of a data type. Under that, we will be studying three main things. Let me write that. So we will be under the, we are studying currently the sequence kind of a data types. Under that, we are studying lists, tuples, range. All these three things we will be studying individually in each of the videos. Okay, something wrong. <clears throat> okay, let's start with the list. What is the sequence kind of a data type? Sequence kind of a data type is so far what we have seen is <clears throat> every variable was consisting of a single value. Say num1 was having a 69, num2 was having 56.89. There was a single value attached to each of the variable. Now, if I want to store multiple values to the same variable, then I will be using a special kind of a data, data type, okay, which are nothing but your sequence data types. Or in other words, what? how can I define this kind of a data type? data types that are capable of storing more than one value or multiple values can be stored right such kind of a data types are called a sequence data types under that we have example as list tuples and range right so we will now start with list right so what is a list as you understand list means there are several multiple things okay so which are in the order Say suppose if I ask you to list the jobs that you have done from morning, what you do is you start writing from the time when you woke up, then what all things that you have done, what all jobs that you have done. So all these things you will write it in an order, right? Please remember the characteristic, the first primary characteristic of a list kind of a data set is ordered, right? Then it is mutable, mutable in the sense I can make changes. I can add elements, I can I can add elements, I can delete elements, right? And it allows the duplicates, right? So what are the three main properties of a uh, list? Let me list it here. Let me list it here again, right? So first one is it is ordered, right? There is an order, particular order that can be maintained in the list. I'll show you each of them, whatever I'm saying, okay? We will implement and check. The second one is mutable. I can make changes in the list, right? I can add the elements, I can delete the elements, everything can be done. And third one is it can allow duplicates, right? These are the some of the properties of list. Let's try understanding how to declare list, how to use list, okay? First, let me say LIS is a variable which is storing a list, right? So, which is equal to, how do I declare that? Start the square brackets and within quotes, write the value that you want to get stored. Say example, I'm writing again, KAU, right? When you want to add a next element, okay, again, you have to put it in a single quotes. It can be of string type. I will add one, two, three. Okay, please remember. So each of the value that I'm entering in the list can be of different data type as well, right? So let me show you that 30.45. So one is string data type, other one is integer, other one is floating data type, right? So I have made one list. Can we check now? I will say type of LIS. Right, it the type is list. If I want to print the declared list, print with braces LIS. Right, 
right now i will make one more list list 2 is equal to same thing i'll declare i will say apple i will say 200 then i will say something India right now list 2 is also ready now what I will do is I will add these two list okay so before doing that let me show I can print the length of the list as well okay so in order to do that print L E N which says the length of what I want to find I want to find for list L I S list is the first list same thing I want to do it for print L E N List two. Right. Next, what I do is I will make another list. I will make another list where it is LIS three is equal to LIS plus LIS two. LIS two. Right. Then I will print. LIS3 as well. Along with that, I will print length of length of list 3. Shall we do this? Okay. So now what are what all it is printing? It is first printing list 1 ka length. Okay. List uh, list 1 is this one right so it has three elements it is showing the length as three the second one it is printing is list two list two also again has list two has apple 200 and india it also has three elements now it is printing list three list three is concatenation concatenation is nothing but i have added list one and list two right so i have six elements okay the length of list two list three is six so this is how I am able to do various operations on the list, right? The primary characteristics that I have to remember is, so it is ordered, it is mutable, it allows duplicates, right? So in, in list 2, I can just add like this. I can say again, Apple. Okay, let's execute this again. Now you can see now list 2 has become the length has become four right and elements can be duplicated apple i have twice in the list right so these are the characteristics of list as a data type a quick review so we have studied so far we have studied strings we have studied numeric data types under that we have studied integers float and complex numbers and the next data type sequence data types may we have studied the list right Hope you have understood. Please try out various operations and if you have any doubts or problem, please post it in the comment box. See you in the next video where we will discuss about the tuples. Thank you.